helpful you'll know that um, it's all about my Knevo SL Expert now the forks that come on this bike are the Fox Float Performance Elites so Fox 38 now these are identical to the factories bar the uh, Kashima coating now obviously the Kashima coating makes the forks look sexier but from point of view of adjustability the grip to dampener everything in them is identical they just don't look as good now with the rear shock the rear shock comes with it doesn't come with the um, Fox Float X2 Performance Elite it's just a performance now this doesn't have much adjustability which is a bit weird the front's really highly adjustable but the back end isn't and this has only got two adjustments apart from the, the lever that no one uses the, the kind of like I call it the lockout lever so there's no um, you know adjustability apart from those two and you know as I strive to make this bike better I've uh, done my usual and I've been on a bit of a uh, shopping spree and I guess you can guess what's under here Ta -da! I've gone for the Fox Float X2 Factory. Now this is obviously the top of the range shock. It's got six points of adjustment on it. So it's very, very much more uh, adjustable. Now you can't buy the Performance Elite shock. It would have been better if I could have kept it black. But the Performance Elite is only available on a bike as like as an OEM. You can't buy it off the shelf. So I've had to <laughs> go for the um, factory with the, with the coating. Um, because... I tend to find that this shock, <clears throat> without knocking it too much, is more in line with, say, like a, a Rock Shocks Deluxe. Um, and I'd say that the Fox X2 Factory is more in line with what I've got on my Canyon, which is the, um, what's that, the Cane Creek uh, Kitsuma. That's how pronounce it, Debonair Kitsuma. So that's really highly adjustable shock. And I was kind of missing missing that shock a little bit. Obviously, that won't fit onto, <clears throat> onto my Kinevo SL. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip this shock off. I'm going to put the new one on and uh, I've put it to the factory kind of settings, recommended settings. Things don't just fit straight on. So this uses kind of like an open bearings and then they kind of, you normally have like a fitting kit that goes in there. But on the bike, what it has, it has these metal pieces. I don't know if you can see very well, probably not. Bits here. So it just sits in between there and it's sandwiched. It's got these kind of, units almost like um, metal metal elongated washers and then this rod goes through so you can see the size of this rod it goes perfectly through there so it's kind of like being designed to have the shot with like i don't know like an open eyelet so this came with these cups and bearings on that were like that with this rod through so i've had to um luckily this sit perfectly into the bearing and onto the top of this so I was just able to put it in there and tap it out with a hammer so I've put it in a vice obviously soft grip soft grips on there and then I've this came out with it so this kind of bearing race so then there's one on the other side you need to kind of tap out nothing's ever nothing's ever straightforward at least this side it goes into focus you've just got the normal mounting kit here and it uses the exact same mounting kit which is good so not to it would be nice if it was a straightforward swap but it isn't too much of a too much of a palaver um luckily because this fit is like a like a punch through it so yes yeah, so now to get the other bearing side out and then get it fitted into the the bike i'll give that a bit of a clean first bit of grease the bearings a little bit and then uh stick it stick it back on jobs are good and specialized have done a Good job with making it simple to switch the, the shock. I like it. Me like it a lotty. There we go. It was a bit more of a pain in the backside to get on than I thought it was because this mounting, although it looked the same, this is actually slightly wider than it was on the uh, shock that came. So I had to just gently tap that through. That was easier to get through because it used more of a soft, like a soft linkage. But there you go. And then the only thing is one of the adjusters. I think it's a high speed rebound, the red one is, is hidden away there, which obviously Specialized obviously probably weren't aware they were going to make that change on the 2022 shock when they designed the bike. But yeah, um I thought I didn't think I thought it was gonna look a bit shoddy on the bike actually without having no Fox Factory other stuff on there. But actually because the aircon's hidden you don't see that luminous sticker, you see a bit of the gold in the fox. So it doesn't actually I think it actually looks Looks all right. It looks quite good. I was worried it would uh, got a little bit of gold on the bars, I suppose. So I was worried it was going to look a little bit crap because uh, 
you know it's only factory components on it but nah like it looks all right so shocks now fitted and i'm gonna wear uh, yeah um add air so you add 50 psi and you cycle through 25 percent of the shocks i've had it fully fully deflated because i want to check how many space are in it because the tune on this bike is two spaces as standard so I wanted to just double check that I had two, two volume spaces in it as, 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 as normal because I'm only a light rider so I don't need more than that. So there we go, so it looks alright. So um, yeah, I'm going to get it inflated as they say.